Welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Atlanta Braves. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. The cameras are out for this one, partner. Home openers are unique and always bring a special type of energy to the ballpark. Uh, today is a celebration. It is the beginning of a new year, and there's no other game like this one on the schedule. It's the first time playing inside your home stadium with your brand new teammates, and you know the fans are going to bring the energy. The excitement is already building in here. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Atlanta Braves. Here's Lane Thomas. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Took to a board and two out, scoreless game. Up now for Washington, Blake Rutherford. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Hey, let's hold him right here. Two on, two outs. Ground ball up the middle. They take the force out. That ends the frame. So the Nats leave a pair, and now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Hey, hey, stay now it's the now. power stay speed combo. The King Tejada. Two hits for That's him in yesterday's Tejada. game. King. You talk about just the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Oh, and two now. And it finds its way through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That is good. And that, that keeps his hitting streak going. Oh, He's making this look way oh, easier yeah. than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard enough, but to keep up in it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. Checks over to first, back safely. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper runner. puts on. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. That's in for a strike. Throw there. Safe. Chris, there aren't many players faster than him, and StatCast demonstrates that for us right here. Yeah, it breaks down the data for us on a close play, and that top speed is about as fast as we've ever seen, Boog, and clearly it was the difference maker on that play. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Swing and a base hit. Tejada coming home. He scores, it's two nothing. And he's there with a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Luis Garcia. The second base. Luis Garcia. 
And he grounds one back up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. King Tejada getting ready to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. Tejeda measures six feet even, batting in the cleanup spot, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. And a pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in now play with that. two strikes. Good, Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Man at first. Here's a big power threat. Go, Austin. Go. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Come on, big guys. Hear this one. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And that one goes straight to the backstop. He's in there. Tejada up to third on the wild pitch. He just hasn't had it in this one. Been fighting himself out there, and that's just another example of it. We'll see if he can find it at all while he's still out there. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Two gone with runners at the corners. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Hey, take a rip like you can. Here you go, baby. Hit in the air, right field. Rutherford under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Two left on. Three innings complete. It's the Braves two and the Nats one. Here's the center fielder, James Wood. He's 0 for 1. Corners are occupied with two down. And here's a slow roller. Albies in plenty of time to first, third out. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves two and the Nats one. First and second, one out. Now in for the Braves, King Tejada. This guy with light tower power. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. High fly ball down the left field line. Way back there. And that one becomes property of the beast. He'll touch them all. And they throw three on the board. It's 5-1. 
Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel. And boy, he just hammered that. And stepping in is the speedy King yeah, Tejada. He's already homered in this game. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. All right, one time, right here. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty check swing tried to hold up now an appeal to first he did not go around Acuna at third with two away here's a swing and a drive left field and he knew it His second home run of the game, and they add on. It's 10-1. Now he's just showing off out there, and who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat, watch it go a long way. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. How is that fastball out of here? King Tejada next up for the Braves. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Misses outside, and it's 1-0. Righty delivers. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Hey, you turn now. No one's better. And he deals. That one down the line, and foul ball. Line drive, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here's Austin Riley. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Check swing, no appeal, ball two. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Austin Riley goes deep, his second of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 13 6. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Well, when you reel off 
eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits, and now all of a sudden it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now, and that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you the same good food he's been giving you all along, and you can keep this win streak going.